Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Kelsey. I'm so glad to have you here. Today, I'm taking you through my closet transformation. As you can see, it was looking rough. It needed some love for sure because I hated this space. It just made me feel really overwhelmed every time I walked in. And so it was time. Of course, you have to start removing everything first. Once I did that, I was able to go in and remove those ugly shelves. I did not like them. They were not my vibe. But 1010 do not recommend the way I did it because I am no professional, as you may know. So what I did was just took a hammer and hammered all of them off because the screws were not coming undone because they probably have been there for years and years. My walls did end up with some few holes, so I did go in with spackling, covered those bad boys up, but I wasn't really concerned about it because I knew this entire room was gonna be covered with bookshelves and clothing and wallpaper. Always remember when doing remodeling or organizational projects to embrace the journey, embrace the chaos, because in the end, you are going to have a beautiful masterpiece. Huge shout out to my parents. They are so amazing and always help me with my crazy ideas. So thank you, mom and dad, for helping me install everything. I did end up painting the ceiling and some of the walls just because I wanted it to look a little brighter in there. We ended up getting this beautiful removable wallpaper from Target. It was expensive, so keep that in mind. I didn't love the price of it, but let me tell you, through all the blood, sweat, and tears, I'm really happy with how this space turned out. So now I'm gonna walk you through and show you where I got everything. All right, friends, I'm gonna take you into my closet and show you around how it turned out. I know if you follow me on TikTok, you've seen this, but I wanted to make sure you guys on YouTube got to see the after, and I'll walk through and tell you guys where everything is from, but I'm so happy with this makeover. It came together so perfectly, and it just works. It works for our space. Um, so as you can see when you walk in, I have my old dresser to the right, and this is just really old. We ended up painting it white. I'm not crazy about this dresser, so maybe in the future we'll get a new one. But it works for now. It definitely saved money. And then on top of the dresser, I just have my jewelry boxes. So I have this stackers box, which is so awesome. I'll show you guys inside. These stackers are really awesome. They're from the container store, and they work super well. They come in a bunch of different sizes. They are just really great because you can organize everything super well. So I have a lot of like my fancier earrings in this one, some rings, um, miscellaneous jewelry in here. And then this little guy, this is just a Kate Spade box, which I have, I think, earrings in this one, but it's super cute. My sister-in-law got me this. It says Kate Spade and it's polka dotted. She got it for Mother's Day for me. But I like that the top just comes off and then... All of my hoop earrings are in this one. And these aren't even supposed to be here, but I just got these hair ties. I'm obsessed with them. I got them at TJ Maxx for, I think, $5. They're actually incredibly soft. They haven't torn out my hair or anything like that. I just think it's a nice, like, decorative little touch if you're doing a ponytail. They came in a bunch of different colors. Aren't those so fun? So then as we move up, I have this mirror right here, which is perfect for putting on my jewelry. I'll put my earrings or necklaces on here. It's just nice that you can see what you're doing. So I like this little area. And then up top, we have a shelf. The shelf is just from Ikea, super inexpensive. I think it was under $15. And then these um, 
what do you call them, brackets are also from Ikea. Those are $5. And we just wanted to make a shelf where we put like miscellaneous things like hats or belts, things that we don't reach for as often. I know you're probably thinking like where the heck does my husband's stuff go, but he doesn't have a lot of stuff. He is a very simple guy. He doesn't like fashion or clothes. So I made sure to designate a section for him to put all of his things. So these cabinets are all of his stuff. Um, he loves hats, so he has a lot of hats. And then some of his shoes. Um, we keep most of his shoes downstairs. We have a shoe cabinet down there. Um, but he loves this and it works because I love that these doors close so there's no clutter. It just is nice that it's all covered. So it looks a lot more organized to me. And then this cabinet is a mess. I don't even want to show you guys because it's embarrassing how messy it is. But yeah, these are basically all of my products that I'm either testing, PR, um, just random stuff that I need to organize. So yeah, that's kind of what I need to work on soon. So we're just going to close that and ignore that. So originally what we were going to do is have the back wall be where my clothes hung. But it ended up working out better this way because we didn't realize that these Billy bookcases, the smaller ones, would fit perfectly. So it was really awesome that all three Billy bookcases fit perfectly. We didn't even plan it that way, but it ended up working out. The back wall was supposed to be where my clothes hung, where there was a Billy bookcase in the middle and then on each side my clothes would be but I love this look a lot kind of reminds me of walking into a store it's like an experience I love that everything is on display I think it looks really cute and organized um, these are bags that I don't really reach for or touch very often so I just like how it looks it's very pretty and displayed so on this first shelf I have my perfumes and my everyday jewelry. So this is the container that I keep all of my everyday pieces in. I love this thing so much. I got it off Amazon. It has these awesome doors so your jewelry doesn't collect dust. I love it so much. It's an acrylic organizer and I got it for 30 bucks which was a really good price um, because these can be pretty expensive but I just have bracelets, earrings, things like that. And then this gold leaf trinket tray is actually from the Dollar Tree. This is where I will put earrings that I've worn from the day. I'll take them off at the end of the night. If I'm feeling lazy, I'll just leave them there. And then my perfumes are all down here like you see. This one is definitely my favorite. I get compliments on this all the time. Whenever I go places, people are like, you smell so good, what is it? It's this. And then over on this side, I have a few more favorites. If you guys get any scent, get this one. This is the KKW, I think, original scent. I'll have to link it, but it smells so, so good. My best friend got me hooked on it, and I haven't looked back since. I love it. It's just a sexy scent. And then on these shelves, this is where I keep all of my bags on display. I think it looks really pretty and very girly. I just love the way it looks. If you guys have any questions about any of them, you can ask me in the comments um, if you need me to link anything. At the top there, I just kept a Chanel box. I ordered some cotton pads and it came in this beautiful box. So I thought that would be perfect to put on display. And then this is probably one of my favorite things in the whole closet. This is my sunglass organizer. Again, that was something I got off Amazon for under 20 bucks. It holds, I think, up to 12 glasses. You can hold quite a few. I still need to fill some spots back there. But this is also really great for nail polishes. So if you guys need nail polish organization or even essential oils organization, that is such a good find. So I'll make sure to link that. Um, for you guys. And then on this bottom shelf, this is just like my makeup area. This little container is also from Amazon. It's a really nice acrylic container. Um, this makeup is again things that I'm either testing or haven't tried yet. Um, different products that I don't reach for every day. It's just nice. It's all contained in one place in case I do need something. I know where everything is. And then up here, I love this brush organizer. It was actually a desk organizer for pens and miscellaneous stuff like that. But I thought it was the perfect thing for brushes. It has three different sections, so it's just really nice. I got this at Home Goods. I got it, I think, almost a year ago, so I don't know if they have it. Um, but they always have really good holders. 
holders for brushes there. So in this corner is where all of my shoes live. I know I got a lot of questions as to like, is there enough room? I would have way more shoes than that. We have a shoe cabinet, like I said, downstairs, and I try to not hoard a lot. I'm trying to be more minimalistic when it comes to my things. Um, it's a work in progress because there is a lot of stuff still obviously in here, but I don't really need a ton. Um, I know there were also some questions about the accessibility. For me, it's not hard at all. Like, my clothes are here and I can easily, like, reach any pair of shoes. Except the top ones are the ones I don't reach for, like, ever. Those are more, like, fall shoes, so I might rearrange them for different seasons and things like that. But the ones that I wear the most are at eye level, things that I can grab really easily. Okay, last but not least, this is where all of our clothes live. And I got so many questions about this on TikTok. I personally love how this turned out. I really like how functional it is for us. Again, we don't have a lot of clothes. As you can see, there is still a lot of room for me to hang more clothes. I got rid of a ton of clothes because I just wasn't happy with my closet and my wardrobe. So I'm trying to kind of find my style and find pieces that I really love that are good quality. So that's why you don't see a lot of clothes here because I'm getting very picky the older I get just because I want to really love what I'm wearing. As you can see, the very top is where my husband's clothes live. He is 6'3", so it's super easy for him to reach. I can't reach up there very well. It is pretty high. We did put supporting brackets on each side. My husband and my dad helped install these, and they said these can hold up to, I think, 150 pounds, so we weren't worried about them breaking or collapsing. We haven't had any issues so far, so fingers crossed. There hasn't been any warping going on. Um, again, we've only had it up for, I think, maybe a month now, but I really like it. These were made out of PVC pipe from Lowe's, so they were really inexpensive, and of course we spray painted them gold. We did add, I think, a few coats of primer and also a protectant spray, so in my experience, we haven't had any problems with chipping or scratching on the actual rail. I just love how organized everything is now. It just feels like a good place to be. And then that hook is for my robes, um, things that I reach for quite often, lightweight jackets or sweatshirts, things like that. I just haven't hung anything there. And that is about it, you guys. Oh, also, we did add a new doorknob. I love it. It's so pretty and shiny and sparkly. So that one we got off Amazon, and I think that was $16, so not bad at all. It just adds, like, a fun little touch to the room. What we eventually want to do is make the door swing out this way so that it doesn't open into the closet. I feel like that is the worst design ever. I don't know why they did that in the first place. Ultimately, I would love a pocket door where the door just slides into the wall, but we don't even know how much longer we're going to be living here because we want to buy a house, so we don't even know if we want to take the time to do that, to be honest. Um, but I hope you guys like it. Of course, leave me a comment. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. I would love if you considered subscribing if you are already, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. I love you all, and thanks for watching.